Welcome to the Veterans Online Summit. My name is Larry Peacock, and I am the host of the summit. And it's going to be completely free this weekend. So definitely watch all the videos. The schedule is up. If you look on my Facebook pro profile for Larry Peacock, the complete schedule is up for the Veterans Online Summit. So definitely take notes uh, while you're watching all the speakers. Each of the speakers present a different online business model. And that was the purpose of the summit is just to kind of expose you to all the business models for starting an online business. If you want all time access, like an all access pass that you can watch the videos at any time you want after this weekend, you can upgrade to that pass at veteransonlinesummit.com. We will also be providing workbooks that will correlate to each of the interviews that will help you dive, you know, kind of dive more into that. As far as our Facebook group, look for Funnel Vets, F-U-N-N-E-L-V-E-T-S, Funnel Vets on Facebook. All right, I hope you guys have a great time. Thank you so much uh, for joining us to, at the uh, Veterans Online Summit, and I'll see you on the high ground. Wake up, you all right, here we are, the Veterans Online Summit 2019. My name is Larry Peacock, and we are, I'm seriously so excited. I got my buddy here, Chief King, Warren Officer 2, retired from the Army, a certified ClickFunnels partner. I mean, I, this, he is the first guy that I wanted to start with, so I'm, I'm super excited to have him. How you doing, Matt? Hey, what's up, Larry? I am doing amazing, and I'm really happy to be here. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Now, why did I select Matt as my first guy that I wanted to connect with and do this? Uh, I've been with ClickFunnels since, uh, for about three years, and Matt was one of the first guys that I ever met, um, and one of the first guys in ClickFunnels, and he's a military veteran. I'm still in the military and whatnot, but I wanted to connect with him, and Again, it was like almost three years ago, brother, that we talked. So I just can't believe here we are. And, uh, you know, I got this veteran summit. I got over 20 speakers. And I told Matt when I was planning this, I said, Matt, like, I want you to be the first guy that I talk to. I want you to be the first interview. So here we are, Chief King, freaking Warren Officer 2 retired. So I appreciate you, sir. Yeah, man, I'm really glad to be here and, uh, you know, happy to, to share my uh, my story, stories, whatever it is that you want to know. And, uh help uh help help other people vets uh, entrepreneurs and you know help them learn the ropes let's do it let's get hey let's jump right into it so i'm excited so the title of this uh, uh interview is going to be how i made sixty thousand dollars online from a cot in afghanistan and that's how chief king did it right this is chief king how he made sixty thousand dollars online from a cot in afghanistan you made some money while down range, so that's pretty impressive. I mean, I, I actually just learned that. He just told me that today. I was like, wait a minute, we're changing our story, man. We're changing our whole topic. You did that, like, while you're down range? So there may be some of you guys here who are already deployed, or you know what I'm saying, who are, who are still in the service. And if he made 60,000 bucks, I was like, that's ridiculous while getting shot at, right? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if he can do it, you can do it. So I'm like, changing your story, brother. You're going you're gonna to be the one doing this. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, Chief King, go ahead and tell us uh, your Army story. So, yeah, um, you know, I came into the Army when I was a junior in, in high school. Junior in high school. I was, a, you know, a naive young kid. I know I still look like I'm, a, like, freaking 15 or something here. But uh, <laughs> that was – you know, freaking recruiters when you're 17, they come straight to the door and they're like, dude, can we, can we talk to you about the army? I was a kid. I had not grown up or nothing. So where, where I started and where I ended up were two places I did not ever expect them to be. But um, I had my enlisted time. I started out in the army, you know, um, you know, pushing paper, ordering parts in the motor pool, um, doing mechanic work and driving around Humvees and LMTVs and uh, whatnot. And, you know, I was de deployed in 2004, um, which was, uh, I believe, OIF two. So I mean, we were in there right off the right off the bat, right after um, whatever the, the the initial invasion in 2003 is. I think when that kicked off. So yeah. um, our unit deployed uh, half of our part. Like they they kind of pulled like 10 or 20 people from our unit to deploy, and then they went off to OIF one. I kind of um, 
I don't want to say I breezed out of that one, but I just lucked out and didn't end up on that one. Um, those guys are the ones that d deserve the mad respect. But uh, they came back while they were gone. Of course, we were preparing to go on OIF2, and we did that. We were on the ground um, doing, um, doing some, some civil affairs, special ops work. Got done with that, and um, I, I, that, was, that was an experience. That was the first deployment, 24-year-old kid, um, fresh off a of 9-11, and that, that was some crazy stuff, right? But um, I decided after that, I said, I never want to go back to Iraq as a ground, as somebody that's on the ground. Um, we were driving Humvees, LMTVs, and it was, it was the wild, wild west, man. I, I'm telling you, it was, it was an experience, but it was da a dangerous experience. I said, I, I know that there's growth. There's got to be some place I can go. I've capped out. I was Sergeant King at the time. And I knew that there was no place else for me to go in the army. So um, at that rank, I did not want to go where 92 alpha paper pusher mechanic driving Matt um, was going to end up going. So I came back, uh, my enlistment period was up. I said, um, I want to, I want to fly. Um, you know, I always aviation ran in the family. Uh, grandpa was a pilot. Dad was a pilot. Um, I had started prior to that deployment. I knew that, flying was something I wanted to start looking into in the army. Uh, so I started getting my pilot's license. And then of course, uh, after the deployment, got into uh, aviation, found my way into flight school, uh, came out flying helicopters. And that was the second half of my career, deployed again in 2011, 2012. Um, and what's interesting is that was uh, in December of 2011, we found ourselves right back in the same places we were at in Iraq in 2004. You said, but, and you said earlier that you didn't want to go back. You're like, I'm never going back. I, 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 I said, if I ever go back, it's going to be up there, not Pretty, down okay, here. Okay, Roger that. So, we, okay. Uh, we, we were in um, kind of central northern Iraq, uh, like Kirkuk, the first time around. The second time we ended up in uh, kind of Baghdad, Taji area. If you're familiar, it was, it's a little further south. But, um, but we, were, we were flying into the same places that, I had been in 2004 in these places. There were bases, um, Camp, and I think they're calling it Camp Anaconda, Anaconda or LSA, and Blood Anaconda. So I forget, but whatever it was, it was there was like 20,000 people uh, there. Wow. It was a crazy Air Force base with a bunch of people walking around, and um, there was nobody there, dude. 2011, 2012, nobody there. Uh, in December of 2011, we closed the rack out. Oh, we, wow. all we, le we we left the contractors. We were like. See, and, see, see deuces. <laughs> deuces. We're out. We took our we took our four broken Chinooks and we we left. We left. <laughs> so Matt, you did uh, 21 years. Is that correct? We we did we did uh, 21 years. I uh, got out and uh, just retired recently in um, August of 2018, and um, it it was a very liberating experience uh, to be able to retire and be able to focus on my internet internet marketing and, and you want to go stuff. back no <laughs> <laughs> <Come> on, <man. laughs> you know I, I miss um i miss flying i enjoyed flying I, I really enjoyed going to i actually enjoyed going to drill and hanging out with my my dudes yeah um that was and flying helicopters you know we, hey, where are we go, where are we gonna fly this drill weekend we, we'd fly down in florida we'd fly to west palm beach and get some lunch and you know Try not to hit the bad weather on the way back up north yeah. to Jacksonville. It was it was a good time. I enjoyed that part of it, um, but the the army part of it. Yeah, I get I, it. I get it. <laughs> so yeah, let me be let me be clear with uh, all those watching and listening here. Um, so again, you know, I'm a military officer. I've been in. I've done nine years now, but I've never deployed. Right. I'm I'm gonna make that uh, straight up. Uh, make that up front. And uh, it is what it is. It took me uh, seven years to get my freaking gold bar, right? Uh, well, everybody's got their story. It took me, took me way too long, but whatever, I got it done. But in that seven years that it took, I was non-deployable, right? Roger, I was an ROTC freaking cadet, non-deployable, S&P program. Then I went to freaking OCS when that didn't work out, non-deployable. You know, for being a guardsman, I damn wore my uniform so much, like, Oh my God, I wore my uniform every freaking day and rocked, you know, thousands of miles and whatnot, but I have not been downrange. So props to you, brother, because you've been there, you've done that. 
I don't get it. I've never been down ranch. I freaking tried. I missed the boat three times, man. Three times I tried to uh, uh, catch a boat headed over, and uh, it just that freaking army, you know, the freaking paperwork didn't get in in time or whatever. I freaking transferred to units that were um, that were deploying. I I st to a unit that was deploying, and the the army didn't get the paperwork in time. So it is what it is. But hey, I'm here, and uh, my unit's set to go down range 2021. But we'll see if that happens, right? So it is what it is. All right, brother. So, hey, man. So, again, Chi King, I'm, I'm stoked to be talking with you. Um, let's go ahead and jump into uh, to ClickFunnels. Go ahead and tell me your story about how you got involved in ClickFunnels, sir. Yeah, uh, ClickFunnels was, uh, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't the first stop on my, my internet marketing journey by any means. Um, when I started in internet, uh, you know, the very first time, that I ever knew what, you know, internet marketing was a thing where people could make money when I, when my eyes opened up and I went, this is, this could be interesting. This could be good. That was actually in, in 2004 while I was deployed in Iraq, actually the first time um, I purchased a product online and um, I realized that it was nothing but an ebook and it was like a $40 ebook uh, on that note. And I got it. I was afraid to put in my credit card number was the funny, I was like, I don't know, should I be making these purchases online? And, um, but they use, you know, opt-ins and then you put, shuttle you into something to buy and then you go buy that and then they shuttle you into continuity. And I, he was like, I was like, this guy must be making an absolute killing. Like this is the crap. Anyway, I put, um, pretty much put everything down from there. Cause you know, I kind of did a little bit of reverse engineering, got an idea what it was, dabbled around in it, but hey, you hey, know, be careful he, about all those freaking uh, little, Quick phones verbiage, man. We got vets on here who have never. <laughs> who have oh to yeah. What you're saying, bro? <laughs> yeah, what, but they'll know. What, they'll find which, out. Which, which word did I say that it was like reverse engineering continuity? Re, re, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, like this is a reverse engineer. You guys, that's that's not like specific to internet marketing, right? But you guys should be able to like kind of trace back and be like, backwards oh my planning. gosh, backwards play. Yeah, backwards, backwards planning. planning. Like, it, like it. It's kind of like backwards planning. I got you. Like the freaking so, offboard, man. But uh, yeah, if I say something, man, I, I am so entrenched in click funnels and internet marketing. Like the, the techno babble is just going to flow. So it, it will if, flow, if, bro. And they'll get there. The, yeah. The vets if, will get there. If, if you catch me, yep. call me out. I will, I will fix that. I will fix it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I kind of let that go for a while and, you know, fast forward like six, six, seven years. Um, was when I finally had an opportunity to start playing around with some marketing, you know, was I got into lead pages, started using that WordPress, um, which is a web page builder. Uh, mm -hmm. Both of those are web, web page builders, just like ClickFunnels is. And um, they were okay. They were doing what they do, but they weren't like perfect. They weren't awesome. Um, but in 2014, I just happened to be at an event in Southern, Southern California in San Diego uh, with, uh, if you guys know Mike Phil Sam and Andy Jenkins are, they had a program called Traffic Genesis. And um, a friend of mine invited me out there to go uh, with him. So we went to the event. It was a pretty cool event. But there was this guy named Russell Bronson speaking <laughs> at this event um, who I'd never ding, really, ding, ding, ding. yeah, I'd, I'd never really heard of him before at the time. And, um, but he got up on stage while we were there because it was a total pitch fest. And he pitched fun, uh, one of his programs, which is called Funnel Hacks, at that event. And that was my first introduction to ClickFunnels. Um, but, of course, I had all these other programs. I was like, I don't need this program. But it sounds really freaking cool. Like yeah. if, I ever had, if I ever go backwards in time or if I ever need a new start and I get rid of lead pages and all these other programs, and those are okay. They're okay platforms. But if I ever got rid of them, I said, I, I would definitely try ClickFunnels because that looks like the bomb. Um, and uh, that was actually ended what I ended up doing like the following year. I actually recommended to one of my clients because that's all I did at the time. I was just kind of working with the occasional client and trying to help them out. I'd make videos or try and make a, you know, do some strategizing and go, you need this. And uh, yeah. I had one guy that was like, I, need, I want you to do this. And I was like, tell you what, you get click funnels and I'll do it. I wasn't even an affiliate at the time, right? I wasn't yeah. trying to sell him. I wasn't trying to make money off of him. I just wanted to know what ClickFunnels was like. So I was like, get that program. I'll do it for you. I'll take care of you. Oh, wow. And, uh, he ended up getting ClickFunnels and uh, gave me his login. And I got it. And I was like, oh, my God. I guess this is amazing. I, there, is no, there is nothing better. So, of course, I went down the rabbit hole. And 
ended up with all of his stuff. Um, but in uh, 2015, I got my own account. Uh, it ended up at Funnel Hacking Live. For those of you guys who don't know, Funnel Hacking Live is the big event. Oh! That, yeah, that, uh, that, that Russell Brunson does. And it is uh, one amazing um, event. It's, uh, I've been to a lot of different events like Traffic Genesis, uh, Traffic and Conversion, uh, Product Launch Formula with uh, Jeff Walker. Uh, these are all great events. I, I, I recommend yeah. them all. But I, the only one that I've gone to four years in a row, I yeah. think, is tra uh, Funnel Hacking Live. And um, so I went there. Guess what they're selling? If, okay, for for reference, if you ever go to an event, take some extra money because they're going to sell you something. Yeah, right? they're going to sell you something. That year, they were selling ClickFunnels certification. And so I <laughs> uh, pulled my back. I, I, he's so good, man. Russell Brunson is an amazing salesman, first of all. But I knew when he put that offer on the stage, I was like, I have to do this. I have to become ClickFunnels certified and I can take my newfound knowledge, my newfound certificate, and uh, I can I can take that and help people build funnels. I was going to be a funnel builder, which, by the way, I don't really do that anymore. Yeah. Um, I, uh, but at the time, that was what I wanted to do, and I got into that. Put my money on the line, went home. Uh, three months later, I was the third. I think I was the third person to finish the ClickFunnels certification course. Um, so uh, that was really cool. But I went through the certification course. And then started picking up, uh, picking up clients, started working with a lot more people, became a power user, just started yeah. just blowing it out of the park with, uh, with building funnels and, and helping people with that. Um, what kind of sucked was I never really had a chance to, I was always working for other people. I never really had the chance to sit down and make my own thing yeah. um, with, with ClickFunnels. So outside of some other projects that, you know, we'll talk about here uh, upcoming, but outside of that, that's, Pretty much what is yeah that pretty much does it. I've just been working with clients and building funnels for like the last three years, while going to there and it's been it's been a and it's been an experience, a very rewarding one at that. So I, you know I, I'm not going back. I'm not turning back. That was no, that, that's awesome, Chief. So uh, to my fellow veterans and funnel vets that are out here, uh, again he's a certified ClickFunnels partner, and the program doesn't even exist anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So you're talking to somebody who knows ClickFunnels. Uh, Matt, real quick, just briefly, so we can keep moving on down our list here. Um, go ahead and talk about the team that you got, um, the team and the, that little shiny object there behind you on the wall. Just briefly touch on that, sir. Shiny little object. Uh, well, my, my wife and I, my wife is a copywriter, and um, we've worked together for inter, with inside of internet marketing for quite some time. And uh, we work on projects together. We take on clients occasionally together. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. And um, uh, ClickFunnels has a, uh, an award. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, it's kind of kind of washed out with some of the light up there, but it's called the Two Comma Club Award, which um, they hand out to people who have created campaigns that make over uh, $2 million inside of ClickFunnels. And just saying, <laughs> two commas. <laughs> If you write that out on a piece of paper, it looks like one million. By the way, so <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's great. So he's a team, and uh, you know, if if any of you vets out there have a spouse, you can do you know you can do this stuff together. the The opportunities are there, so definitely check that out. I wish I wish that I could get my wife to do that. She's she's freaking incredible. Maybe she's interested, can. but you know, she's yeah. kind of like what is this quick funnel stuff? And we got two kids and everything. So we're kind of busy on that end. So um, real quick, the uh, subject of this uh, topic here of, uh, for the interview, how did you make, people are going to want to know this. How did you make 60,000 bucks online from a cot in Afghanistan? Tell us that story real briefly. <laughs> Dude, uh, I tell you what, you, you know, looking back, I look at $60,000 and it's like, I was an employee of the army. 60,000 right now is like, if I only made 60,000 bucks, I'd probably slip my wrist. But, yeah. uh, but back <laughs> in 2000, back in two, yeah, t I shouldn't say that to a bunch of, yeah, it's a different, people. yeah, I don't, it's I don't, a different world today, bro. I, yeah. I don't, I don't condone that kind of activity. All right. And so, um, we, we all matter. All veteran lives matter. <laughs> so, um, but back, back in 2011, 2012, that was a pretty big deal for me to have, I was a chief warrant officer. I was making pretty decent money 
as an employee of the U.S. government going over there. And, you know, I don't know what I came back with, what, 80 grand or something, right? It was pretty good. You know, I, I wasn't hurting. But when I got done flying across Afghanistan and I would come back to my chew, uh, you guys should know a chew. That's not techno babble, right? So, yeah. Um, combat house. It might be for those Navy guys. I mean. No, it's, it's a freaking <laughs> Connex. It's a Connex, dude. It is a metal shipping container. Yeah, Roger they that. Cut, they cut a hole out of the side stuff an air conditioner in there which was nice of them and then uh, another hole on the other side so that you have a little bit of light coming in you got a window and then they stick a, a bed if you're lucky you get a bunk bed so you can throw your crap on top of it um <laughs> in the back of it or uh or at the time i was lucky enough that i was able to i had one of my own not everybody was that lucky so um anyway i get this chew in the middle of afghanistan and I got my, my bed, my cot, whatever, sitting in the back, and I get internet, a one megabyte line for a hundred bucks a month. I swear to God. I pay that much now for a one gigabyte line. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and, um, and it had a broken Cat5 cable on it, and I couldn't replace it. It's not like we had a Radio Shack I could run down to yeah. and grab a new Cat5 cable and splice it onto the end of the cable and make it work. It was just there, the little clip was broken, so I literally had to hold it into the side of my laptop or um, I, what I ended up doing was jamming it up against something. So it just kind of jammed yeah. it in, held it in place. But um, what I did was after I worked, I came home and I worked with a team. I, I created a team of people. Um, there's no way I could have ever worked for an hour or two a night and managed to make an extra 60 grand with an online business. Uh, but we were creating um, software applications at the time. Oh, wow. And, and um, at the time, we were able to sell those uh, digitally. I was able to use my crappy one megabyte uh, line to uh, basically upload products to the internet and sometimes have a okay Skype line to speak yeah. to those who were, I had graphical designers, I had a software developer, and um, uh, I, I had bas basically a, um, what would you call them? Uh, a VA, basically mm -hmm. a VA. Um, What's a VA, sir? Yeah, good one, good call. It's not a Veterans Affairs. A VA is a virtual assistant. Yeah, good call, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. think that either, man. They're right. Like, hey, man, forget. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, in our world, the VA is a virtual assistant. The, Yep. In our world, that is a virtual assistant. Um, in some worlds, it can be somebody locally. It could be somebody in the Philippines. You get a better deal on, uh, in, in some cases, working with, with some folks out there, monetarily speaking. Um, my wife helped me out a lot um, that year while I was over overseas, taking care of a lot of, um, you know, assisting with the product creation and some of the graphical elements. Um, at the time, she wasn't doing as much writing, so that was uh, not where we, we started out. But in that hour, hour and a half time, I was, I, I was the visionary. I was leading a team of people yep. so that I was able to build a business online. And the way that that happened, uh, do you want me to go into kind of yeah. what it was that we did and, and what, you know, what led up to being able to make that kind of money while yeah, we were? Yeah. And, and be quick on that, but let me interject that uh, for those again, watching again, yeah, Matt and myself were both into click funnels, we both had the military background. But here's one thing that I want everybody to pay attention to is that we didn't do anything alone and we could have never had success doing this alone. So yeah, you're an entrepreneur, right? And sometimes when people hear the word entrepreneur, they're like thinking solo entrepreneur. That's not how it works in our world. Uh, you could try solo entrepreneur, you could try to do it yourself, but you are going to fail right? You, you have to network. You have to work with other people, right? I'm doing this veteran summit. I have over 20 speakers. I have a funnel builder that's helping me out. I have a copywriter that's helping me out. I have so many people that are like working with me to accomplish this task. Matt made $60,000 down range, right? But he didn't do it by himself. He had a team and he had his wife helping him back home. So, you know, if I, again, if I may interject, this is nothing that you're going to do alone. So uh, get that thought out of your head right away and, uh, and go ahead and start thinking about people that you could partner with and, and uh, train with who might be interested as you learn more about the summit. So yeah, Matt, yeah. go ahead again, real brief, um, but give us a little bit of details in what you did to actually earn the 60K, sir. 
Yeah, and I'll I'll lay it out pretty easily. I'm not going to go into details because you guys might you guys will probably just kind of gloss over and like pass out or something. Um, I don't want to do don't want to overdo it or anything. So for, uh, first of all, um, you're right. You really should be doing it with with a group of people trying to do this. It does. I mean, a lot of times you do need to be a self starter and you do need to get a little bit of traction um, mm -hmm. on your own. You need to start making, you know, at least a little bit of money. Um, this project, I started out as myself and the developer. Um, mm -hmm. I did all the work um, on the on our software, and I had a developer who was coding it out, doing that. And then I, I was like, "There's no way I'm going to be able to continue doing this." Um, but we ultimately, once we first created our, our very first software product, and to put this into perspective, my market was my peers, the people that I was around, mm -hmm. army people. Okay. Yep. I was around them every day. I literally at times, I got to watch the way I say this because I'm talking to a bunch of army people. I slept, <laughs> I slept with my market. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, <Roger> in, that. <laughs> I mean, we were in a, in, a, <laughs> in a giant tent <laughs> with 40 other people that were in, in my market. And yeah, I'm just man. like, I can hear, I can hear their problems. I know what their fears and frustrations are. I know what their desires are. I know what their, their dreams are. I know what it is that these guys want. And that's, that leads into good copywriting. So I can create a product based around their wants, their desires, and their needs. Okay. So once you know how to, once you know how to create a product that meets their needs, then you can market it properly. And um, since they were, you know, I was able to generate leads um, and lead generation 101 is, you know, get out there and get in the trenches. I was literally in the trenches with these guys and um, you know, just, just learn, learn more about them. What do they want? Give them a copy of what it is that you're working on say, here, what do you think about this? And then uh, once you've given them the opportunity to see what you're doing, they want more. Okay. So uh, that's the step two is to figure out what it is that they want. Um, and then you kind of lead that right into more, the more stuff that they want, you just start taking money for it because we're not running a, um, uh, a nonprofit organization here. We're not, yeah. uh, we're not, I mean, maybe some people do it from a Philip, 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 I don't know how to say philanthropist. the word. <laughs> philanthropist level, right? Uh, oh, that's, that's not me. I'm here to make money. And yeah. I think that if anybody that is an entrepreneur, um, I'm not saying that their first love of doing that, the reason that they are an entrepreneur should be to make money. But at the same time, you know, they want to change the lives of other people um, and they want to change not just other people's lives, but they should be interested in uh, changing their own lives there. Uh, they don't want to live paycheck to paycheck the rest of their lives. That's why we do Absolutely. this. Right? Um, and you know, when, when we're over there, yeah, we want that. That should be one of your goals. So it, while you're trying to make money, however you do it, making money is, is going to be it. So you're going to sell your stuff. You're going to generate leads. You're going to know your market so well that you know everything they want and need. And then you're going to make products and sell them to them. That's it. Yeah. Um, and, and so, yeah, I for did, Chief King, he was focused on, you know, these, these software products that um, you were creating with your development team and talk just a little briefly again, talk a little bit more about kind of like the end game there with those products and how did you get, what did you do to turn them out? Uh, we're well, like I said, we were churning them out with the team, but we would do one software app after another. We kind of got into a rhythm because there were different markets. You know, the army, the people yep. that are possibly listening to this, watching this, um, they know that there's different MOSs, there's different military fields, there's different courses of training, um, and there's there's different vehicles, aircraft, there's different things, and each one of those were segments that we were able to uh, to, to go after and, and target. And, um, once we're able to, to narrow in, once we were able to fire in and get that shot group as tight as we could, then buddy, it was all downhill from there. All we had to do is make different products and sell them. And that's what we did. We generate leads, we sell them stuff, figure out what else they wanted, create that and sell it to them. We did that, uh, 10 or 15 times while we were in Afghanistan. And I know. Sorry, my apologies. So the software products that you created and your market was kind of like the, the military folks that you were with, what did, did those products, were they like lead generating type products? What did those products actually do? Uh, they were, 
Okay, they were they were training aids to put okay. that in perspective. Um, yep. But there were some. I made two versions of every one of my training aids. Um, there was a free version. Yep. Um, nowadays, I would be able to make them one, but I, <laughs> I'm yep. not still uh, doing this stuff anymore. But we had two of them at the time, so there'd be one training aid that would be a freebie, right? That one training aid, we would gain an email address, and we would be able to take that email address and continue to remarket to them. We would be able to stay in touch. We would get them on a Facebook group and we would be able to um, stay in touch with them in different ways. That way when we, we would be able to ask them questions, say, what else do you want? What is, is this product match up to your um, expectations? Do you need something else? Um, would, and these, would these be like training aids for like some of the equipment that they were working with or the, the weaponry that they were working with? Yeah. And so you'd have a free version and then you'd upsell them to a, like a paid version. Yep. That would ha that go more into detail. Yeah, that's exactly what they were. Interesting. So. That's really interesting. So yeah, I mean, if, if you're all listening to this, take notes. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's what that's what Matt did. No, that's great, Matt. No, I appreciate that. And um, so we talked about those action those actionary steps that they can take. Now, how can they get more in touch with you and share about the uh, the share funnel that you were you were talking about? Yeah, what I, um, I mean, things worked a little bit different in 2011 than they do now. Um, I would do that business completely differently. But if you guys were, if you guys wanted to learn how to generate leads or you wanted a kind of a fast track into the lead generation process for whatever it is that you plan on uh, doing or whatever it is that you want to, whoever it is that you want to market, um, I've created a, what's called an opt-in funnel or an op, basically a lead generation system, which is a two-page um, funnel, which you guys can, if you guys are getting into click funnels, um, if you already have click funnels, you guys can go over to funnel.works, which is my website, but a funnel.works slash vet, V E T. And, um, I'm going to put, uh, or you, what, what you're going to find there is a funnel that you can download right into your click funnels account. If you don't have click funnels, it'll prompt you to set up an account and yep. then uh, you can use that funnel instead of having to wonder what it is and how to create it. Uh, that you can just use it and start generating leads. Um, I mean, you'll have to, you know, throw some traffic at it, but yep. it's a little bit of a story for another, probably another call. Yeah, another, I think. for another summit or another interview. So that's yeah. great, great, Matt. Um, also, you had a book that you wanted to recommend. I did, and um, it's called uh, "You." What's it called? You are a badass at making money. All right. Hold, hold and, that book still, real quick, so they could take a snapshot of that. You are a badass at making money, and it's by Jim Sincero. You are a badass. So, what is the book? All right. So, the book is is mindset. It's money mindset. And the reason that I'm recommending it, there's so many good books out there. First of all, that when you you wanted me to make a recommendation, I was like, <laughs> oh my god! Like, I've got so many books on my shelf. I mean, there's a yeah. four hour work week, dot com secrets, expert secrets. I mean, there's so many good ones, right? Yep. But, um, but, uh, this one particularly I, I enjoyed, um, because it, it's all about money mindset. I, yeah. okay. You and I, or the folks that are listening to this, we're in the military. I grew up 21 years in the military and I came from a poor family, right? Mm -hmm. We, we did, we were not blessed with mindset to make a lot of money. And when you get into people, when you start talking to folks like us, and we start throwing around two comma club awards and talking about making millions of dollars. And I just made 80,000 doing this and 60,000 doing this. And um, you'll, you, if you go to an event like funnel hacking live, you will sit next to people that are talking about their half million dollar launches and they're yeah. pissed off. They're literally upset because they can't figure out how to make like um, they can't figure out how to get from 800,000 a year to a million dollars a year. Yeah. And all you want to do is go, oh, what? <laughs> You know, you're yeah. not happy with that. Um, but, but Larry, we're, military guys look at their pay charts and they look at uh, the highest paid person on the pay chart is a four or four, I think it's a four star general yeah. um, with 20 years plus. And they make around $20,000 a month. Okay. Which is pretty, pretty good money. Decent. I won't lie. That's pretty but decent. That's a money. long time to get yeah. that. Yeah, it's going to take a long time for you to get there. Now, these guys in the Army, 
that to put that that's only that's about two hundred thousand dollars a year ish two hundred and forty I, I think is what it would come out to, and then of course I'll take taxes out. Yeah. You said you could set up one funnel um, and have it running within um, a couple months and have you know doing what we do, and you could be making thirty thousand dollars a month um, with a with a, a, a with a product that costs a thousand bucks and you sell one of them a day. Yeah. You guys, okay. You guys, listen. I'm going to interject again. What Matt is talking about this, you know, this book that you mentioned, um, and this whole idea of mindset. Uh, again, I have, we have, this is the first interview and I have to conduct over 20 more interviews. I have multiple speakers that are two comic club winners or even more. And many of these folks have made millions of dollars and they're, it's just what they do, you know, and, but I have their phone number. I can text them. I could Facebook message them. Matt and I are going to go hang out with them next week. They're totally normal people. If you saw them at the airport, you wouldn't know who the heck they are. You wouldn't recognize them. But if you did know them, they would totally shake your hand, give you a hug. These are like totally normal people. And the money they make is something they do all the time. So this whole, again, I, I appreciate you bringing that up, brother, because like, uh, again, that's going to be a new kind of mindset for the vets that we're going to be speaking to. Like, you could really make yeah. that much. It's like, yeah, they can, man. <laughs> I, I tell you what, Larry, and I don't mean to drag this out, um, cool. but you, the people that I know, most of the people that I know from 20 years in the Army, the idea of making more than what their pay scale set them at cool. is – it's beyond their, it's beyond their comprehension. comprehension. They, they don't understand it. Um, like, I don't understand why would I do that? How can I do that? And yep. it, it can be done and it can be done fairly easily and it will change. It's not about making more money because people, your buddies, your friends, the people that you hang out with every day will look at you different because you want to make more money. And it's not about the money. It's about being able to change your life. It's about being able to change, um, your kid's life, your, their family's life and paying off your fam, your a house that you live in. You don't have a mortgage. You can do great things with the, with this cash that you, you ha that you're, you're saving. Yep. Uh, Larry, it's, that's what it's about. It's about changing generations. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to add on to this and we'll kind of wrap this up here, but to add on to this whole idea of mindset, Matt, uh, the other thing about it, I mean, for you, Matt, you, you know, Chief, you do this. This is all you do, right? This is all you do. You work, you do, you work online. Like for me, I'm blessed. I work for freaking Amazon. Who I work for Amazon, make pretty, pretty darn good money with Amazon. You know, I'm, I'm an officer, a military officer on the side. So I get paid decent there. Um, but I'm doing this click funnels work. And for Matt, he, this is all he does is click funnels. Right. And he makes a, a good in. living with it. Right. So, yeah. um, but the other thing that I wanted to, say is that for the folks that are listening men and women you have to go all in right you got to go all in um and i'll t i'll be telling more about my story about how i got the funnel hacking live starting next week but i just made the choice i was like forget it i'm going all in and uh it's just that whole mindset man i appreciate connecting with you brother again you're one of the first guys that I ever connected with in click funnels you've been a brother the whole time We've messaged each other back and forth for three years, man. And now I told you about the veteran summit. I said, Matt, you're going to be the first one that I'm going to interview. And here we are. So we did it. I'm super freaking excited. Uh, man, super stoked to talk to you. How can they get a hold of you, sir? Uh, the best way is just to head up at uh, funnel.works. That site's always going to be up updated with the latest contact information. Anything that you're able to uh, connect with me uh, in regards, I'll leave it there. And again, if you want that fun share funnel, you can go to funnel.works slash vet. Okay. And, Absolutely. Um, Funnel, yeah. Funnels. Uh, is it funnel.works? Funnel.works slash vet. V -E -T. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I, I'm one of those strange people that didn't get a dot com, but I got funnel.works. Because <laughs> hey, funnels do work, Roger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> funnels do work. No, that's good, brother. Well, I appreciate everybody uh, listening in and watching. Uh, for our first interview here at the Veterans Online Summit. Again, if you've enjoyed, uh, if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and connect with us on Facebook, Veterans. Go to vet veteransonlinesummit.com. Share the story. Share the news. For Facebook, our Facebook group is Funnel Vets. Funnel Vets. 
and uh, you'll connect with other uh, veteran entrepreneurs who are interested in this whole thing. And uh, we'll get you guys all squared away. Matt, again, appreciate connecting with you, brother. Any last words? Oh, man, I wasn't expecting any last words, but I, I don't think so, man. I just want you guys to go out there and do great things. If I see you around, please, uh, you know, come up to me and introduce yourself, and uh, I'll shake your hand and hopefully have a good conversation with you, all right? <laughs> all right, appreciate you guys. All right, we're going to uh, head on out, and I'll see you all on the high ground. Hello, my fellow veterans. Thank you so much for watching the interview. I hope you got a lot of value out of that interview. Definitely go back and uh, take a – pen and paper and uh, take some notes, right? Go back and watch that interview again. At the top of the hour, we will have another interview. And now with all the speakers that we have at the Veterans Online Summit, uh, the, a majority of them have provided a, what we call a free lead magnet where you can learn more about them and uh, some kind of education for you. But here's where what I want you all to do. Here's what I want you all to do. Uh, number one, go to Facebook group and add yourself to funnel vets, F U N N E L V E T S. I want you guys to become a part of funnel vets, okay? And all it is is a group of military veterans that is that are interested in online entrepreneurship, mainly with click funnels, okay? And the second thing I want you to do is, uh, if you're ready to go all in, which I hope you are, if you're ready to go all in, kind of the first initial steps that you can take. There's a couple of things that are very key, okay? There's two books in particular that I really want you to get right off the bat. And I'll get you the affiliate link for those books. But the first one is Dot Com Secrets. And this is the, uh, the online digital online marketing guide. Okay, it's like the Bible for digital online marketing and learning how to sell online. Okay, and that's by Russell Brunson of Click Click Funnels. Then you have his second book, Expert Secrets. This is an amazing book, Expert Secrets that I want you guys to pick up. And this is uh, teaches you how to get paid for your advice, okay? Uh, and you're gonna learn all about that, you know, using persuasion um, to sell your product or service. Again, this is called Expert Secrets. Again, that's by Russell Brunson. Now, when you're looking to scale your business, when you're looking to scale your business, you're gonna be looking for a book called The Dream 100. This is revolutionary. It's, I can't even tell you how amazing this book is. I'll get you the link for that, okay? All three of these books, these are like kind of the main books here. Um, all three of them are free plus shipping, right? You're just gonna pay for some shipping. The other thing that I want you to consider getting, uh, another book from ClickFunnels, again, they provide a lot, right? But what they provide is something called the cookbook. This is free as well, you just pay the shipping cost. But in the cookbook, for uh, when you're learning how to, you get the ClickFunnels software, I'm going to get you a link and get you two weeks free to use the software. And when you uh, use that software, this has everything you need to know about uh, building online software uh, or building a sales funnel, okay, and the different types of funnels that you can create. Okay, and this is step by step, and it's called the Funnel Hacker's Cookbook, okay? Again, that's free plus shipping, all right? And then also, my good buddy, if you're interested in learning how to write persuasively, again, if you're interested in learning how to write persuasively, Jim Edwards, who's a speaker on the summit, this book's not even available yet, but it's gonna be available, and I know he'll wanna get that to you. He's a huge uh, support supporter of veterans. He gave me this book, and uh, that's Copywriting Secrets, okay? Uh, again, it's a lot, but I'm, I'm trying to get you guys the stuff that's necessary that will propel you, okay, over the next person who doesn't have this amazing material, okay? These are like foundational books. These are foundational books, okay? Now, if you only could get two books, only two, again, you'd get these two. If you just, you know, kind of low on money, you have to, I require, I'm a freaking officer, that's command authority right there, I'm giving you an order that you have to get these two books okay definitely get these two books to start and then moving forward from there look to get the other books now lastly there is something called the one funnel away challenge and it's a 30-day challenge where you are going to uh, commit to yourself about an hour a day hour to two hours a day to learning click funnels okay and you will have three amazing coaches russell brunson julie stowen and Steven Larson, who's a military officer himself back in the day, okay? And they'll be 
coaching you through the uh, one funnel away challenge. With that, it's a hundred dollars, right? It's a hundred dollars for this thing, and you'll get all the uh, trainings every single day, videos and whatnot online, and you'll get this uh, box that will come in the mail to you. And this box is full of ton of goodies. Okay. Um, one thing that's included in is this uh, 30 days book. You suddenly lose everything in 30 days. What would you do? And they took 30 of the top ClickFunnels experts who use the software for different types of things. And they said, you have 30 days and all you have is the ClickFunnels software. What are you going to do to get back on your feet? Okay. It's 30 different case studies of completely different things that you can do to get back on your feet with uh, in the online marketing world. And with the uh, One Funnel Way Challenge comes the workbook, okay? So again, just to recap, this is a, the One Funnel Way Challenge is something that I've done that almost every funnel hacker has done. It's 100 bucks and it lasts 30 days. I'll get you the link for that. And that's something that you can check out. But again, these are the two books that you wanna start off with, okay? Dotcom Secrets and Expert Secrets. All right, immerse yourself in ClickFunnels. Just immerse yourself in ClickFunnels, and that's how you do it, starting off with those books. And I, and I hope that's going to, I know it's going to be really helpful for you. I know it's going to be really helpful for you. Again, if you want to go all in, this is how you do it, okay? You, take, you know how you do it? You take out your credit card, you take out your debit card, and you pay for it, right? Because all of us have, before you have done the very same thing, and you're going to be asking your potential clients to take out their wallet and you got to be comfortable doing the same thing okay that's how it works in this game and it takes a lot of hard work but i'm excited to be there with you every freaking step of the way okay and lastly lastly um i have some huge opportunities for you i am an inner circle partner of tier five the tier five software meaning i have the ability to sell software and i also have the ability to create partnerships on a limited basis so that they have the ability to sell software under me. So if you that interests you, I'm gonna give you some free software just to check it out, uh, to check out our product line and to be able to, whatever you decide to do, if you decide to create online courses, if you decide to write a book, if you decide to do digital marketing, if you decide to be a life coach, if you can add software to your offer, you make that offer even more irresistible, okay? Again, you make that offer more irresistible to where clients will wanna take up that offer and give their money to you, okay? And so I'm gonna give you some opportunity to check out the tier five software, and uh, I hope that is really helpful to you guys, okay? So again, to, you have to go all in. That's all I'm asking. You may not believe in yourself at sometimes, you'll doubt yourself, but the one thing you will never do is you'll never give up on yourself, cool? All right, on to the next interview. I appreciate you guys.